Humans have infinite potential, and we can use it to push the limits of what we think is possible. As consciousness is explored by more people, new schools of thought are emerging, and some of those suggest that language shapes our reality to a large extent. How we perceive the world depends on how we think, and that is dependent on how we speak. The 2016 movie, Arrival, is an incredible piece of art. But if we delve deeper into the movie, we find that there might be an underlying message that confirms the power of languages. The film shows Louise Banks, a linguistics expert, interpreting the language of extraterrestrials to decode a message for humanity. Their language looks primitive on the surface, but hides a deeper message within. The language we use in everyday life determines to a large extent how the neurons in our brains are wired. What Arrival manages to show us is that the words we use are not just words, but they have a direct link to synapses in our brain. Not only that, but by introducing an ancient language, you introduce a new way of perceiving things which can change how you view reality. Our ancestors have, for eons, tried to tell us that the language we use is how we end up thinking in a certain way. Language forms one of the keys to shaping our reality. Unfortunately, most modern-day languages on Earth are based upon separation. This is reflected in the way the languages form sentences and ideas. The biggest example of this is how we have separated ourselves from nature and continue pretending that our actions will not have any adverse consequences. Our languages also separate people on the individual level based on you versus me or us against them. Although we can use words in various guises and be poetic, creative, and write beautifully, modern languages are the languages of conflict and separation. A language that is based on connection instead of separation would create a different kind of thought process in your mind, thus helping you perceive this reality differently. If a language is based on connection, it will create a sense of harmony, cooperation, and unity within you, and you will perceive yourself to be one with your environment. By changing the language, we change the brain wiring. In spiritual terms, the way you perceive this divine matrix is shifted when you learn to speak a language of connection. To understand this better, we only need to take a look at the research of the renowned linguist Benjamin Lee Whorf, who came up with the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. His groundbreaking research showed us that language shapes the way we think and determines what we think. In the early 20th century, Worf spent considerable time studying the ancient Hopi language of the indigenous tribe in northeastern Arizona. He discovered that the Hopis have a very different way of perceiving this world, and this was reflected in the way their language is spoken. The way they think about nature, humans, cosmic interconnectedness, and time was significantly different. The Hopis see everything as being alive and present in the now. The way they see the concept of time and temporal relations was a lot more evolved than how we would view time. For them, things have either already manifested or are manifesting in the present moment. The latter includes whatever is unfolding and whatever is possible in our realm of existence. These seemingly insignificant changes have massive implications for our thoughts. Worf also found that the Hopi language lacked nouns that measured the unit of time and instead treated the flow of time as a single event. In other words, there is no time. There is only the present moment, and everything in the cosmos is happening right now. For example, if you looked at the ocean and noticed a beautiful wave, you'd point to it and say, that's a beautiful wave. But if you said that to the Hopi tribe, they would be unable to understand you or see that wave you're talking about. For them, it is impossible to see one wave at a moment in time since it is happening right now. So for the Hopis, the ocean is waving. It is a continuous process that happens in the now rather than an isolated thing. 
The Hopis have a word called Walalata, which means that the ocean is tossing in waves. This may feel awkward to hear for the mind that is uninitiated in the spiritual path, but if you take a moment to think about it, you'd realize that their language is closer to the truth than modern earth languages. In simple terms, language influences thought rather than the opposite. And since thought shapes our reality, our language has a significant impact on the law of attraction. This is also why most spiritual gurus emphasize on speaking positively. Positive words will put out a positive vibration into the universe. Words have the power of vibration and can be seen as spells. A new dimension of understanding opens up for you when you look at the movie Arrival with this knowledge in mind. In the movie, humans of modern times are on the brink of self-destruction through the language of conflict and chaos. At this precise moment, an extraterrestrial race makes an appearance communicating in a language that seems very primitive in its approach. Although the creators of the film showed that the language came from another world for extra effects, we do not have to look that far. Something very similar has already happened on our planet. Our ancestors have left us hundreds of languages in the form of ancient texts, scrolls, hieroglyphs, symbols, and so on that seems so primitive to us that it has not been accurately translated to this day. But are these languages primitive? Or is it our misplaced sense of self-worth as a species in the digital age? It is well known now that many civilizations have risen and fallen in the past. Maybe the ancient people were a lot more technologically advanced than us and looked at the future emerging civilizations as young. Maybe these ancient texts and symbols they left us are the only means for us to understand their evolved and connected language. It is only our delusion of grandeur that has prevented us from not only understanding these ancient languages, but feel connected to the cosmos. It is not implausible to think that the ancient scrolls and texts left to us speak the language of unity, connectedness, and compassion, like the Hopi tribe and it will rewire our brain to see our reality differently and to feel the divine interconnectedness. Maybe a rival is symbolic of what could have happened in the past. Like us, one of the past civilizations failed to see the esoteric message. We can avert a disaster now if we recognize the power of language to change our biological wiring. We can use the power of words to wire our neurons in a way that we become lighthouses of peace, compassion, and connectivity, rather than war and conflict. If we pause for a moment and reflect on the state of affairs on Earth, we'd realize that nothing is going right for us as a species. We're living in unprecedented times, unlike any in human history, with wars, climate change, food shortage, pandemics, religious and political conflicts, and financial crises ravaging our souls at the same time. It's cosmic synchronicity that Arrival was released in our world precisely when humanity needs to wake up. It has shown us how we must learn to recognize the power behind a language to influence the world. If our words do indeed shape our reality through our thoughts, what words are you feeding into your mind and the minds of the others? What are you putting out into the universe? When you become conscious of the words you use, you become aware of the thoughts that you put out. It then opens up a whole new realm of possibilities within you. Many awakened souls are now coming together to live amidst our differences and recognize that our reality can be shaped by our will. If more people realize the power of our thoughts and languages now, we will leave a paradise for future generations to live in.